Hi everyone. So this is the day one of 30 days of Spark coding interview problem, and today's problem is churn risk detection. So let's get into the video. So the difficulty level is easy, and the problem description: You are working as a data engineer at a subscription-based video streaming platform called Streamly. The marketing team is launching a campaign to retain users who are likely to stop using the service. They believe that user who have been logged in for 30 days or more or at high risk of churn and should be targeted with win back offers like one month free trial or personalized emails you are given access to the user logging table okay so streamly is subscription based video streaming platform and their marketing team wants us to find out who are all the user are going to stop their service so they can send some personalized emails uh, like some offers or something so how we can know these are all the users are going to stop their service so they clearly mentioned that they believe that user who have been logged in for 30 or 30 plus days or at risk of churn okay they want us to find out two things one is total number of days the user is inactive and churn risk if the user haven't logged in for more than 30 or 30 plus days then it should be yes if not it is no and they're asking us to take the uh, current data's 2025 file 11. Okay, so let's look into the sample input uh, data. So here we have multiple user. We have two columns, uh, user ID and login dates. And we have multiple users, user 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. And these are all the dates the users logged in. Let's see how to approach this problem. If we take, if we subtract, current date minus user's lost login date then we will get the total number of days the user was inactive in order to find out user's lost login date let's take any one user uh, for example user 1 and user 1 uh, these are all the dates user 1 was logged in if we take max of user 1 logged in dates we will get the user's lost login date correct yeah, so this is the user one lost to login date, uh, which is 2025-424. Second thing we need to find out is whether the user falls under the churn risk or not. So we can simply use a condition. Okay, if days inactive is greater than or equal to 30, then that means the user is under churn risk. If not, no. Okay, so now we'll look into the coding part. So let me open Spark Shell. So here I'm going to use Scala Spark. You can also use PySpark. It's your call. So first we'll create the data frame. Okay, we'll name it as login details and user data dot to df and the first column is user id and the second column is login dates. If you see here, both user ID and login dates are in string format, but we need date in date format. Okay, we can use column with column function. So whenever you're going to do any um, changes in the existing column or you're going to create any new column, you can use this with column function. So it takes two parameter. One is the login date. And the second one is the column expression. So here we are going to convert it into date format. And this function takes two argument. One is the column, okay, which is login date. Login dates, sorry. And next one is the format. So here we are going to use this format. Okay. Okay. Now the data frame was created. So let's see our data frame. 
you can just show command to display the data frame the data frame looks fine so now we are going to take users last login date okay so for that we'll create another data frame uh, we'll name it as last login date okay and what is our uh, latest data set data frame uh, login detail dot so we are going to group by the user id and we are going to take the max max of login dates so let's yeah we'll also create an alias if we didn't mention any alias then the column name will come as max login dates so we can name it as lost login dates okay and we can change our data frame name as well because here it's lost login date same as our column nothing wrong but we'll give some other name lost login details okay we'll execute what is the mistake error found value login detail okay actually it's details okay we'll change that okay now the data frame was created so let's quickly look into our data frame lost login details we can use show command okay so user 1 lost login date was april 24 user 2 is march 1 user 3 is february 15 user 4 february 27 user 5 march 1 sorry may 1 okay so now we'll create two columns one is uh, days total number of days the user is in active and second column we can check whether the user falls under um, churn risk or not okay we'll create a data frame and name it as churn risk and lost login details dot we're going to create a new column so we can use with column function and first parameter should be the column name here we can give days inactive and the second parameter is the column expression so here uh, it is we, need, we are going to subtract the current date with the last login date so we can use date difference function and the first parameter should be the current date uh, which is we can give uh, 2025 05 11 and the second parameter should be lost login date so here lost login dates okay and another column name is with column then it is um churn risk and the column expression is here we are going to use a condition when days inactive when days inactive is greater than or equal to 30 then it should be yes otherwise it should be no okay so we'll look into our final data frame uh, okay i made some mistake okay so on risk dot show okay user 1 total number of days inactive is 
no and user 2 total number of days inactive 71 of course yes user 3 85 yes user 4 73 yes and user 5 days inactive is 10 and no so that's all for today to use the same data which i used in the video please check the description if you don't want to miss my upcoming videos and also if you found this video helpful you know what to do i'll catch you in another video take care bye bye